guys welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to my first ever youtube video thank you guys so much for watching in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to get that voluminous braid without teasing now my hair is super fine and very tangle prone so i absolutely hate teasing it so i'm going to be showing you a little bit of my tips and tricks on what i do to still get that volume without the teasing i'm going to be using the bellamy straightener if you guys want to get any hot tools or extensions from Bellamy, I will have a discount code in the description box. I'm also going to be using this little alligator clip from Bellamy as well to clip my hair back. And I'm also going to be using this brush from Bellamy. Now, I absolutely love this brush. It's great for tangle prone hair. And I'm also going to be using a dry shampoo. Now, this one is not particularly my favorite, but I bought it, I have it, so I'm going to use it, um, but you can get any one or any kind from the drugstore. So the first thing I'm going to be do, I'm going, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is to brush all the tangles out of my hair using that tangle brush. And I already have my extensions in. Um, I don't use the extensions for length. My hair is actually longer than the extensions, but I use them to add a little bit more volume. Now I'm grabbing a one inch section of hair, starting from the front, and I'm going to use the straightener. Sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna use a straightener and I'm going to be curling back the roots. Now I only do the roots, not the entire section of hair, and that is what's gonna give you that volume. So I'm brushing it out as it cools, and I'm gonna be using the dry shampoo to spray the roots to add a little bit of extra volume. I'll be using this little alligator clip to just pin my bangs back while I finish the rest of my hair. So I'm gonna grab that second section of hair about one inch thick and repeat those steps. I repeat this about four to five times. Did anyone ever have this hairstyle in high school where you had the super size whip bangs and the super poofy hair? I did and it's so embarrassing. So notice how I am not straightening the roots, I am curling them back. Straightening them won't really do anything, but curling them back will give you that extra volume. And you only need to apply it for like maybe a few seconds. I don't do it for very long, maybe like four seconds max. This is where I start to get that super awkward part in the back of my head. It gets worse if I wear buns. So I love using this method to get rid of that part. Now I'm on my last section of hair and this is at the crown of my head and I have this super awkward cowlick part in my head or on my hair. So I like to run the straightener a couple extra times over this part to try to get rid of that as much as possible. So I run it maybe three or four times and then I curl it back. And what's really important is to keep it at that shape while it's cooling so that it stays that shape. And once it's cool, then you spray the dry shampoo. Now I'm just gonna brush my hair out and make sure that the dry shampoo is in my hair evenly and that there's no white spots or anything. And now this is how I, uh, this is how I do it pretty much. And at this point, if you want to, you can curl your hair, you could straighten it. Um, 
I personally hate having a part, which is why I do this every time I wash my hair to get rid of that part to add a little bit of volume to my hair. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I do my braid without teasing it and with um, by giving it that extra volume without teasing it and getting rid of any awkward parts. So I'm going to be brushing my hair out just a little bit more. And now I'm adding dry shampoo to the mid and ends of my hair to give it a little bit of extra volume when it's in that braid. So the dry shampoo is almost like a texture. You can use hairspray if you want to, but I found that it tangles my hair a lot more if I use hairspray, so I use dry shampoo. So I'm just gonna shake my hair out, do a couple hair flips. Another hair flip. You guys notice how that line is pretty much gone now. Makes your braids look so much cuter. So I'm just gonna be doing a regular French braid and I'll show you guys how I poof it out without teasing it and get that super voluminous braid. I grab really skinny sections when I um, do my French braid just so that, um, well I can't really explain it, but I just like grabbing skinny sections so that my braid goes a lot, a lot further, if that makes sense. So once I get to the end, um, I start fanning it out or pancaking or whatever you guys want to call it. But this is when I start poofing out my braid to make it look thicker. I don't like to do it at the very end because I find it makes my hair feel like it's very frizzy and um, it just, it's a lot more hard, it's a lot more difficult to fan it out. So I like to do it as I go. So I'm gonna flip my hair forward and continue braiding. I'm just braiding and fanning it out as I go. be using a hair tie to tie it together. I usually prefer clear elastics but I didn't have one nearby so I just used this. And once I tie it I'm going to fan it out just a little bit more. I love the super messy braids and because it's not teased up top I can run my fingers through it and make it even messier. So I like pulling out a little bit of pieces from the front to add to that messy hairstyle. This is pretty much what the braid looks like. I poof it out more. You can poof it out more or less. It really depends on your preference. I love a super messy braid, so I just keep pulling it out throughout the day. And this is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.